Just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, a new book titled Burn It Down reveals the behind the scenes issues at Lucasfilm. Honestly, guys, can it get worse than this? Yes. Thank you so much for coming to the channel today as we look at this uh, scathing behind the scenes look at Lucasfilm, their culture, what's going on at the company. Um, the writer, her name is Maureen Ryan. She just released this book titled Burn It Down. Let's look and see exactly what the book details. And uh, oh yeah, this is going to get good. A new behind-the-scenes book, Burn It Down, Power, Complicity, and a Call for Change in Hollywood by Maureen Ryan shed light on some of the issues facing Lucasfilm in recent years, mostly where its streaming shows are concerned. The first antidote covered in the sections dedicated to Lucasfilm concerns a source known by the pseudonym Emma, who was hired to work on expanding Lucasfilm's existing IP with a spinoff of some kind. Emma worked with a person at Lucasfilm, who was also given the pseudonym Derek, who she believed did not understand the assignment despite being well-connected within the film and television industry. Emma noted that despite her hopes to make an impact on the project in question, she was mostly hired to babysit Derek as he put out subpar scripts and contributed to a chaotic set environment. It was indicated that this is one potential example of the issues that have happened behind the scenes at Lucasfilm with problems being brought to the company's attention, but not sufficiently acted upon. Another antidote concerns someone under the pseudonym of Christopher, who indicated that the pursuit of making movie quality television shows often come at the expense of television writers. While Christopher does not appear to be a Lucasfilm employee specifically, he expressed concerns that directors and producers from movies have taken the reins of these sort of projects. John Favreau. Case in point, Emma noted that one Lucasfilm showrunner, presumably Derek, dismissed concerns about micromanagement of a writer just because of their status as an executive. Emma also had concerns about budgets at Lucasfilm, as it seems that the company is willing to overspend on projects instead of approaching them with a fiscally sound mindset. With the budget on one project doubling and potentially further increasing following her departure, Despite that approach stemming from confidence following the success of The Mandalorian, it may no longer fly in 2023 with Disney tightening budgets on their projects going forward. Lastly, author Maureen Ryan expressed concerns at a lack of diversity behind the cameras on Star Wars films, despite heavy emphasis on the part of the shows to give women and people of color the director's chair or the writer's pen. Every single Lucasfilm movie since the acquisition of the company by Disney has been directed by a white man and one of the only projects set to be directed by a woman, Rogue Squadron by Patty Jenkins, has been shelved, while another project, an untitled movie directed and written by Taika Waititi, with a story co-written by Christy Wilson Carnes, has only received intermittent updates. It's worth noting that Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy noted that Rogue Squadron is still very much a project that they would like to do, but it seems unlikely that Patty Jenkins will direct it at this time. The big exception remains Charmaine Obeyed Chinoy's movie that will see the return of Daisy Ridley as Ray. And even though there is a much greater amount of behind the scenes diversity and opportunity for writers and directors, they are at the whim of the showrunners. Emma, in particular, felt that Derek was able to screw up just because he was a white man, whereas someone else in his position will be put in a proverbial director chair. Well, all of that seems very interesting. It does not shock me at all. Somebody behind the scenes is talking about the mismanagement and how directors and writers don't really know what they're doing and people are getting jobs just to babysit people and things like that. Now, the thing that, that I'm not sure about is the article talking about the, uh, the women and the people of color being directors and things like that. Lucasfilm has made great strides to do that, but they're not giving us good Star Wars. And, here, and at the end of the day, guys, I don't care what color or gender anybody is at Lucasfilm. If they're, if they're being hired to give us great Star Wars, then give us great Star Wars. But if your number one objective is diversity and inclusion, that's a step backwards. Make characters and story the number one thing. You know, uh, that is, that's my personal opinion there. 
I want you to tell me what you think about that also. And are you going to get this book, Burn It Down, by Maureen Ryan, that gives us all of these details? Thank you so much for coming by the channel today and checking out this video. Please like, share, subscribe, and give us a comment letting us know what you think. As we always say here, we are, you are Echo Base Network. May the force be with you, and I'll see you guys on the next one.